G'day, 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 and uh, welcome again to another uh, Flying with Gertie episode. We are in the sunny city of Amsterdam at uh, Schiphol Airport, um, Schiphol International Airport. Um, we are going to do a little flight around Amsterdam today, so that is the plan. Um, and uh, hopefully we will um, see some sights even though the weather is not the greatest once again as you can see we do have a little bit of uh, cloudiness um, in the skies so we'll be staying pretty to relatively low um, we'll want to uh, be able to see everything so uh, we are in the DA-40 today and uh, this is the little aircraft that we are going to be getting around in. So, the new sim update has landed, uh, so we are expecting a bit more of um, smoother scenery and a bit better frame rates. Um, and we'll see how that goes um, today. Okay, we'll fire up the fuel pump. We will make sure that the... Where is my mouse cursor gone? It seems to have wandered off. Doesn't want to work. What's going on today? Why are we having so many issues with this new update? Mouse is failing to work. go all right there are a few little bugs with the new update I'm sure that they will iron them out over the next couple of weeks um, but, uh, here we go I think it's mainly when you sort of like swap screens around and stuff like that uh, okay engines are on we have got fuel pumps on uh, fuel selector to normal uh, okay we'll just put a little bit of throttle in and uh, we will set our flaps down and uh, we will start the engine okay looking around all right let's get going uh, we'll tune to Schiphol Ground 121 is 805 and uh, we are going to where are we going to depart uh, looks like we're probably going to depart off to the east is that correct? yes we're departing to the east so request taxi depart to east Skip Hall Ground, Diamond Golf, Uniform, Romeo, Delta, Yankee, one with Quebec request taxi for takeoff east departure. This is a huge airport. Diamond Golf, Uniform, Romeo, Delta, Yankee, one taxi to and hold short of runway 27 using taxiway Alpha 17 uh, Alpha 27 Alpha 2 Alpha 1 2 Echo 4 work. cross runway 18 left Echo 4 November 1. Contact tower on 118 decimal 28 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 27 via taxiway Alpha 17 Alpha 20 Alpha Alpha 12 Echo 4 cross runway 18 left Echo 4 November 1 Diamond Delta Yankee 1. Okay, set the radio for 11828 and. Did anybody see any fancy taxi guides? Oh, there we go, they're behind us. Alright, let's uh, take the park brake off. Uh, let's get rolling. She certainly looks a little bit windy out there.
good thing is with these big airports, you know, it's good to have these taxi guides. Um, otherwise, you can drive around all over the place. Smaller ones don't really need them, but these big international airports, yeah, it can prove to be a little bit of a challenge to find your way to the uh, threshold to get yourself get yourself going. Today, I think. You see these cars ripping in and out of the tunnel. There's a tunnel under there. It's probably not uh, that well um, uh, rendered on the uh, in the scenery, but there's actually a tunnel runs under there. Roads run underneath this. Public roads run underneath this airport. It's pretty cool. So we're taking off on runway 27, I think they said, so... This is a lot of aircraft around. A few A320s parked up. so we can see where we're going. It's a bit hard to uh, drive, in a, drive in a straight line when you're um, flapping all over the place. Take off flaps it down. That's our speed. There looks like it's ready to take off too. It needs a longer runway than us. We're taking off on 36 right, I think. his takeoff roll? No. Maybe he's not taking off, maybe he's just parked up. Mm, I thought there's a 7.73 multiplayer. Lined up for takeoff. Hopefully he's going to go soon. Right, he's away. So uh, the game was, uh, well, the simulator was released. Call it a game because it's going to Xbox. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. Xbox is a gaming platform. The simulator was released today, 1am uh, Melbourne time, um, on the Xbox X and Xbox S. Um, I expected to see a lot more uh, players in the sky, um, but uh, yeah, maybe they are still separated, I don't know, but I thought that they were going to be cross-platform and we'll be able to see all the Xbox players as well, uh, but anyway, 
Uh, not a lot of uh, multiplayer traffic around, so maybe it's not uh, working yet. I don't know. Anyway, that's all the better for us. We don't have to deal with a lot of um, people doing crazy things at airports. Normally I turn multiplayer off. Uh, I just had it on at the moment to to sort of like see whether or not we would see much extra additional air traffic around. Okay, uh, let's line up at the threshold. And uh, we can um, get our takeoff clearance. Right, so we will tune into the tower and uh, request our takeoff clearance. Skip Hall Tower Diamond Golf Uniform Romeo Delta Yankee One. Landing lights on, ready, taxi departure, lights departure, off, departure, strobes please. on, nav on. Diamond Golf Uniform Romeo Delta Yankee One QNH Two Niner Decimal Seven Four Wing One Eight Zero at One Five. Departure to the east approved. Cleared for takeoff runway two seven. Okay, we do have our takeoff clearance. Take off runway two seven Diamond Delta Yankee One. Don't you love the way I can talk to you and still talk to ATC? I'm uh, quite quite the multitasker. <laughs> quite the multitasker. All right, let's go go go. We have a little bit of a crosswind. Oh, a little lot of little lot of crosswind. Okay. Speed is alive, T's and P's in the green. And we are up. She's a bit, uh, definitely a bit windy. Okay, flaps up. Continue to East Departure, so we'll fly across the airport and um, so yeah, so look with all that air traffic, labels, everything else, she's certainly uh, the, a lot smoother than it used to be. Um, you know, especially considering I'm using a plane with a G1000 glass cockpit as well, which usually t which takes up a few resources, so yeah, it certainly seems to be um, a bit better. Whoa, it's extremely misty up here. Don't know how much we're going to see today over the city of Amsterdam. I'm only at a uh, thousand feet and we're um, very misty. Once we get clear of this airport, we'll probably descend down to about 500 feet. Hopefully we'll see a few a few points of interest. Okay. So our first point of interest is the Johan Kruf Arena. Um uh, it's just out here somewhere. And there it is up ahead of us. So we'll jump outside the plane. Look at that rainbow. It's lovely. And then we'll uh, have a look at this arena we've got here. Johan Karuf Arena. It's currently where we're headed to. A few 
200 feet above the ground. Give you a good look at the scenery. Oh, good to be out of that mist. So the weather's cleared a little bit over the city, just partly cloudy. Lovely day for it. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Sounds like sounds sounds like I might have pronounced it reasonably right. Johan Roof Arena. Yeah, a fair bit of air traffic around today. We'll be flying underneath that. Next destination is uh, we've got a, another destination coming up here, and uh, our next destination is going to be the uh, a museum, the Rickchers Museum. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but. That's over here. Well, we're going to get down, we're going to be coming under this uh, flight path for the airport, so I don't really want to be too high. Here's the museum down here, just to our left. You can see it there. There it is. It's a very nice, another very nice building. Yeah. It's into Amsterdam. Right, so let's spin around. Follow these canals. And uh, we get to our next waypoint. Westermark or something along those lines. I suggest maybe it's this big. Uh, right, it's just over here. Well, we've gone past it, so let me loop around and see if we can pick it up again. That's the problem with all these little. Oh, look at this big building here right in front of us. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll pop back around and we'll see if we can pick up that uh, that point of interest again. Big rail yard here.
down under this mist if we can. You should see it coming up here, just in front of us somewhere. There it is there. It's a nice uh, big church. over to cross over the palace Whoop. Quick, quick look we'll go back around and have a look at that See the museum again. I'm gonna come around and see if we can pick up pick up the palace once more. There's the church, cathedral. And uh, we should pick up there it is. There's the royal palace. Pass over the Royal Palace, we'll head towards the train station. There's uh, Amsterdam Central train station that we're just passing over there. Uh, we'll do we'll do a loop around so we can have a look at that. Sorry about the pretty ugly looking photogrammetry there, but you know, cranes and stuff don't work too well. Hopefully something that they will fix up over time. Oh, there we go, there's the uh, we'll do a circuit of the train station again. Pick up a couple of these beautiful buildings that we can see. Uh, we'll follow these train tracks out here. We're going to head out towards the port. There's the other point of interest down there. It's a uh, some bridge. Looks like a bridge of some sort down there. This one's here is beautiful. It's all grass and it's sort of like it's got like walkways and stuff through there. A lot of barges and everything parked there. Looks like some sort of pretty little uh, walking bridge runs across between looks like houses and stuff down here on the river. Okay. Now we'll head across to our destination. We'll fly across the water here. And uh, yeah, we'll head. Let's go back, okay, shall we? And just uh, sort of try and dodge the air traffic and do one more circuit over Amsterdam city before we head to our destination.
climb up to maybe around about 1500 feet. Just keep our eyes open for any air traffic. Doesn't appear to be anything coming into land. bird's eye view of Amsterdam. Parts of, uh, of, of the Netherlands are uh, below sea level, I, I understood. I'm not sure if that's correct, but uh, part, part, parts, of the, parts of the Netherlands are apparently below sea level. Let's get back onto our flight path and back towards our destination airport. I hope you enjoyed that um, little flight around uh, Amsterdam. Uh, it was... I found it quite interesting um, and uh, quite enjoyable. Um, I don't know why my RPM keeps hitting into the red. Uh, a bit more trim. You actually can't uh, control the RPM separately on, on this particular aircraft. But so I'll trim the trim wheel. Uh, 
I haven't flown this little plane before, I thought I'd just try it out. Uh, it's got G1000 glass cockpit, so I thought it would be a little bit more, um, you know, uh, let's have a look. I mean, the frame rates are pretty good these days. Uh, we're playing about 48 frames per second. I wouldn't normally get that. Um, all my settings are set as ultra. So, yeah, we wouldn't normally get these sorts of frames. So I'm pretty happy with the updates that we got. A few little niggly little things, but um, nothing that stops you from playing the game or enjoying the game. So, en sorry, enjoying the sim. Right, let's tune into EHLE. Uh, this must be one of our nearest airports. EHLE. Have they have a, do they have a tower? Yes, they do. One three five eight zero. One three five one eight zero. Sorry. Three five one eight zero. Uh, we'll just tune into that. Our descent down. Anybody see the runway out there yet? those were still on. Our landing guides are on. We don't really want our landing guides on. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, there we go. That's our landing guides, but we don't really want those on. Uh, how am I going to turn those off? I thought we could turn them off. Uh, off, off. There we go. Let's 
So a few additional features I've added to the um, to the simulator to help people that are probably not as um, comfortable with flying um, or haven't played the or, or played the, played in the sim for um, you know got that many hours up. So uh, yeah, they um, have added in a few additional features, you know, uh, to to assist people with landings and stuff like that. So they've got these landing guides. So you can follow the correct glide slope. Um, you know. I have a lot of windmills here, don't they? I mean, um, I'm not sure if that's what their wind farms actually look like on the map, but you know, usually the placement of these things is usually relatively accurate, so. Whoa, hello, whoa, it's a little bit gusty, what do we got? Uh, I don't actually have my winds on. We've got low fuel, have we? Uh, I need to switch tanks somehow, and I don't really know how to do that, so... I'm not quite sure where you switch tanks. It's got fuel to normal, so... that way obviously. Uh, I'll have to, like I said, I haven't played this plane before, but, oh here we go, fuel transfer. Accelerate pump is on. Maybe hopefully that will balance the plane out a bit. Okay, where is our airport? Is up here somewhere. Looking, looking. So, what I was actually doing before I noticed that. Um, turn the advisory off. Okay, we, we, we're okay now. We've balanced out the fuel. PFD, wind, uh, option three. Okay, back. Yeah, so, we've got a little bit of. We've got an 18 knot wind. Oh, that's going to be probably at the limits of this aircraft, I would be thinking. Um, its ability to land. Uh, there we go, looks like there's the airstrip out there. over it uh, and then uh, do a downwind and uh, come round to land on or runway 23 I believe was what the instruction was so we need to fly left traffic so cross over the uh, runway threshold the downward leg. If the wind had been blowing the other way we probably could have come straight in, uh, come in on base, but Okay, landing lights on, strobes on, navs on. Uh, once we get on the downwind, we'll set our first stage of flaps. Okay, there's the airstrip below us.
traffic down there today. Flaps. Airport's about 30 degrees behind us. Diamond Delta Yankee 1 acknowledge last transmission. Yep, we'll acknowledge our landing clearance, thank you. Clear to land runway 2 tree Diamond Delta Yankee 1. Landing flaps down. center line. Diamond Delta Yankee one turn next taxiway. And that we will, my friend, that we will. Diamond Delta Yankee one contact ground on one two three decimal eight three. Two three decimal eight three. One two three decimal eight three diamond delta Yankee one. Where we want to go? We want to taxi to parking. Ground diamond golf uniform Romeo delta Yankee one taxi to parking. Diamond Golf Uniform Romeo Delta Yankee 1 Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha. Diamond Delta Yankee 1, please acknowledge. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha Diamond Delta Yankee 1. Right, this little parking spot here looks like this would be okay for us. There's no one else around. We can pretty much park wherever we want, I'm thinking. And here we are, just in front of us. Building here. Um, okay. Parking brake on. And we will cut the fuel.
Orange head off. Pumps off. Landing light strokes. Nabs off. Okay. Thank you again for uh, joining me. I hope you enjoyed that little flight over the Amsterdam area. Um, yeah, it was uh, a very much a pleasure taking you with me. Um, and uh, if you do enjoy these videos, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, click the little bell icon and uh, then you'll know when I've got uploaded a new video or I'm doing a live stream. So once again, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, little short flight over the Amsterdam city area and uh, we will see you again very soon. Safe skies.